a lot to do with us not playing well. They're a very well coached team. Um, I thought their guard play was outstanding. They're good on defense and offense. They changed defenses. And for a period of time, uh, maybe that took us out of rhythm and we adjusted. But, you know, we earned, uh, you know, every point we got. And this was uh, as hard of a hard fought victory as we've had this year. And that's, and that's again, as much to Kennesaw State's credit. You know, these guys, we've been through a lot of tough games. We played a very difficult non conference schedule. 20 Big East games prepares you for this tournament. What we just went through in Madison Square Garden uh, last weekend prepares you for this tournament. And uh, tonight's game was very similar to our DePaul opening round Big East tournament game where we got down big and then really maybe the last 12 minutes of the game, you know, we fought hard to win. So we're fortunate uh, that this game could have gone either way. And I think everybody up here on the podium knows that we have to be better on Sunday than we were today, but really grateful to still be in the tournament. Okay, questions, please raise your hand. Let us know who you're with, uh, your name as well. And if you're asking a question to a student athlete, please address it directly to them. First question, second row, right in front of me. Adam Baum, Cincinnati Enquirer. Sule, an emotional game. Um, is everything okay there with you and Adam? It looked like you guys had a little bit of a, a tussle. Yeah, um, me, and, me and AK, we fine, man. I love that dude. We love each other. I mean, it's March Madness. I mean, this is everything that we work for. It's the heat of the moment. So, I mean, we got to be sharp. We got we to gotta be on point with stuff. And if stuff get, if we get a little emotional, it's just, it's nothing personal. It's just we want to win. We want to we wanna win and we want to advance. And me and him, it's no hard feelings. We hugged it out in the locker room and, and we fine. Middle of the room. Riley Davis, field of 68. This one's for Coach Miller. <coughs> Uh, Kennesaw State was two for its last 15 down the last 10 minutes. What did y'all change that was so effective defensively? You know, we didn't really change much, and, that, and that's oftentimes the story. We just did what we do better. Uh, I just thought that uh, Jack protected the rim. You know, his last play of the game, the block, was maybe the most significant defensive play in the game. Um, their guards are really good, and they have great scheme to, to get them down the middle. Um, you know, if we would play them again, you're probably a little bit more attuned with what to do differently. But that's the part of this tournament. You know, you're, you're playing most of the time a team that you've never seen before, played before, and you, you have to come ready ready to go. But again, I, I, I can't say enough good things about Kennesaw State. Excellent coach, really good team. They pushed us to the limit, and uh, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to be here. We made plays down the stretch. I, you know, I, I talked to AK, Adam uh, after the game and uh, he had a huge three-point shot maybe the biggest offensive play in the game you know Sule like he does went to the free throw line in the clutch and uh, iced the game and then you know Kobe I would say if you'd ask back like the change he, he we switched our matchups and he started to guard the point guard more and I thought Kobe's size maybe helped us defend him better than we did during the game earlier Third row. Hi, Chris Vivlamore from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Jack, I just wondered if you could take us through that block. Um, do, did you expect that they were going to try to get Burden on a drive? Yeah, we kind of, you know, had that inkling um, in the timeout. We were supposed to switch everything, and, uh, you know, I saw Rome. Uh, he got around Rome. You know, he's really quick. He's a really good driver getting to the rim, and, uh, you know, I just came over and um, blocked it. Second row. Jerome, how much fun was that one tonight? Um, it was real fun. I mean, I just wanted to win so bad, and I'm glad we got the dub, and I'm glad I did everything I could to for us to win. Second row again. Sean, can you sort of walk us through that 15-0 that run? What started to go right offensively for you guys in that period? I mean, it, it, to some degree, we just, you know, um, we, you know better than anybody, Adam. We're a very good offensive team. And I thought throughout the game, we had a couple shots we normally make. We didn't. But I thought we, we converted. You know, we, we, off of individual plays, off of transition opportunities, maybe a couple set plays, I thought we got a couple good looks and we knocked them in. You know, at the end of the day, the set play can create a shot. The offense can create a shot. But... 
you know, these guys got to be able to make them, and they did. I, I thought it was almost like the lid came off the basket. We got stops. Stops maybe gave us a little bit more confidence. As our confidence grew, I, I thought we really settled in. And really the last 10 to 12 minutes of the game, in the first four minutes of the game, that's when I thought we were playing our style. And, and that's why we, we showed up as a three seed. Maybe in between, there's a lot of factors, some of which Kennesaw State provided, that didn't allow us to maybe be as good as we normally are. You know, I just pointed out to Sule, a huge stat for us is turnovers. And for us to play this game, in spite of some other things maybe that we didn't do well, to finish with 10 turnovers, that's a goal of ours. And when we play with 10 turnovers, and you know, we're, we're a very difficult team to beat. Any other questions? Colby, how much does a game like this, you know, coach alluded to it being similar to that DePaul game in the Big East tournament, but it feels like kind of a wake up call. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, before, um, I feel like we just came out, we played, um, timid when we made mistakes that we normally don't make but um I mean all credit to Kennesaw I mean they're a great team great defensive team that made things hard for us but yeah I mean in this tournament every every team's good a great team so we have to come up with our A game every game and um yeah I for sure feel like this was a wake-up call and we know what we need to do and we're gonna work over these next couple of days to get right any other questions Sean, what do you talk to them about after this game? Like, well, what do you kind of want them walking out of here thinking about today? Really the last 12 minutes, you know, when we, we played great basketball, really acknowledging the plays that were made by the, all these guys. I mean, Jerome. I mean, Jerome is a career high. To get a career high points, he was 8 for 8 from the free throw line, 24 points. It's a big reason that we advanced. I mean, he did something extraordinary today. You know, Adam Kunkel... You know, we, I'm looking, we were, we were on, in the game two for 12 from three. But in the biggest moment when we really needed him to deliver, he stepped up and he made that three-point shot. You know, same thing with Sule. You know, he missed a layup. He missed a layup at the end of the game in the NCAA tournament. It's not easy to get over. But he was able to get over it, and then he buried him with four straight free throws like he does. So, you know, players making winning plays is the first thing we talked about. And I think the other part is this. Until you actually go through the tournament, you don't really understand how fragile it is between advancing and going home tonight. And we've experienced that. And we've looked at it in the eye. And my hope is that we can respond and be better. Our bench has to be better. Uh, tonight, we overcame that. And we need them, we're going to need them to be a lot better on Sunday. Middle of the room. This is for both uh, Colby or Sule. Uh, first NCAA tournament game tonight. What are your emotions? How did it feel? Sule. Uh, man, it felt it felt amazing, man. Uh, in the beginning of the game, the the, cra it, the crowd was loud, but it was the stands wasn't filled as much. But as the game went on, the the stadium got more loud and more packed, and it was just it was just undescribable feeling, man. Um, it was a dream come true for me, and I'm just, I'm just ecstatic and happy that we're that we're not going home, and we get to we get to we get to go again on Sunday. Colby. Oh uh, yeah, sort of saying what uh, Sule said. I mean, it's a dream come true for me wanting to play in this tournament. But yeah, it was a great feeling. It's an even better feeling knowing that we winning and advancing. So um, yeah, I really took it all in for the first first game, but uh, looking forward to the next one. Anyone else? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Good job, guys.